What's good, your boy Verde for No Envy Beats. Excuse my voice. I've been coughing a lot. Hoping I ain't too sick. I don't know. But as usual, I'm smoking up right now. And today we got a, a walkthrough of Core Gadget. Show you guys how to get a beat started. Um, I won't show you how to sequence out the whole track in full detail like I did in this beat here. We'll do that in another video. But um, I'll show you how to be familiar with the software, what's its pros and cons. Um, we'll make a simple whack beat. And uh, yeah, let's just go from there. So this is a beat I did a while ago. But just kind of give you an idea of what you can do in core. show you how to make music <clears throat> not promote my music all right so from the jump hoping a lot of people who didn't have this app just got this app because on black friday holiday season cork always cuts their apps in half um so you could have got this for like 20 dollars or some something like that i bought this app back in like 2015 2016 for like 40 bucks i don't even think it was on sale but the description of it really had my interest in the fact that it comes with all these quote unquote gadgets or instruments really uh piqued my interest now when i got this software let's see recife wasn't a part of it Boa, glasgow zurich gladstone i think was madrid wasn't vancouver wasn't uh what else like half of these plugins weren't even available. They weren't even created or just, you know, they weren't there. So um, as you can see, as you can see, sorry, I bought pretty much everything besides these two fucking video game synthesizers. I don't make <clears throat> bit, I don't know what it's called, I forget what it's called, but I don't make video game type music. Sorry, let me light this cigar. Um, but yeah, so bear with me if I'm using some of these sounds that you don't have yet. They're pretty much all worth it. Um, trying to think how to best go through this. I want to kind of get straight to making some music first. So maybe we'll do a video later explaining each different module. Uh, so let's see here. <clears throat> so first of all, here's your main page. When it loads up, you're going to start here. Um, as you see in the bottom left hand side, it says master. I usually turn the reverb off. Uh, that just makes some of the sounds, some of the sounds sound a little more alive, I guess, or whatever. Then over here you have the limiter, and then you have D max. This is another thing you have to pay for. Um, it's the maximizer, so let's just boost your beat. That does a pretty good job at it. <clears throat> so I would say that's worth the money too. All these plugins are like fifteen dollars each, which really ain't shit. All right, next thing here we got our transport area. So the red turns into record mode. You hit play button afterwards. It'll give you the countdown. There's no instruments here, so it's not going to do that. Obviously, this is the stop, play, play button. You got the lock button that keeps the loops on the certain scene that you're in. What I mean by scene is, as you see up here, if I keep pushing the plus, <coughs> if I keep pushing the plus button up here, more scenes pop up. And each scene you could think of as like, you know, scene one might be your intro, scene two might be your chorus, scene three might be your verse, scene four might be your bridge, scene five might be your outro. And then you can make duplicates of those specific scenes and add changes to them and then rearrange it and make your beat. But we'll have a video more on that later. Um, another important thing 
this hamburger menu with the arrow up and down. That allows you to go from mixer mode to sequence mode. Kind of just divins the screen, so I'll just load up this. So I got this here, this drum machine. So you see it's only showing me more of the sequencer area. <clears throat> but if I actually hit the software or the VST, you see this removes it, <clears throat> brings it back. And if you double tap the instrument, it gives you a full screen. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, try to edit out most of this coughs as I can. All right, so there's the best way to go from here is to show you. So I'm gonna make a simple beat and just tell you what I'm doing, kind of. We'll do this at 150. So what I usually do is you hit this function button in the bottom left hand corner. Gives you some functions here. So I usually start at one bar. You can change the grid snap down here. I think you're at 116. We're doing hip hop and this is the drums anyway. So we're on one bar. Obviously one bar has four segments to it. <clears throat> so just put in a drum pattern. Play. So as simple as it is, now if I want to duplicate this, I hit two bars. You see on the left-hand side of the screen, now copy lights up. Hit one bar, hit the two bar, now I copied it over there. Now we got a two bar. If you're zoomed up, you see at the top, this is like one bar, it's two bar. If you tap that little space, it'll actually lock you into that bar. So from the second bar, we can take this room away and add a drum there. You see, we have these bars the same, so we want to make a four, four bar loop. <clears throat> then we'll just change the fourth bar, and then so. You have a scale button here so you can pick the scale you want to be in. I'm gonna just do C minor, keep it simple. And you can do the same thing here, even with the melody. One bar. Let's we'll start with my Sometimes for the melodies though, <clears throat> especially when it's faster, I don't give yourself some more space. So we'll do two bars. <clears throat> Just to make it a little different.
<clears throat> Amazing music. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the chord progression real quick. You hear my daughter yelling in the background. It's crazy. She's downstairs. That's how loud she is. Or is how good this microphone is, but whatever. Keep this simple in part two of this video. I'm gonna go a little more in depth, but I'm not gonna, I'm saying, I'm not gonna do too much here. You gotta see what I'm doing. Take the chord progression, I'm gonna take the root notes, like keep the root notes, I should say. Lower this down an octave. Now we can pick a better bass. I think the one I like is. Maybe like one of these trolls. familiar with the software <clears throat> so in part two i'll show you how to how i would fully finish the beat and in part three we'll go about arrangement but you know like subscribe follow thank you for viewing much love <laughs>